Hi, Brad from WPSites.net. Uh, this video tutorial is on how to easily customize your WordPress theme uh, the same way as the professional web designers use. Uh, if you're wanting to change the look and the feel of your site and uh, and make it your own so it's a, it's a unique uh, website or blog using WordPress, uh, there's two ways you can do it. You can learn CSS coding and PHP coding and write the code yourself, or you can use your existing code from your uh, from your parent themes files. So in this tutorial, I'm just going to look at CSS coding and how you can easily use your existing CSS coding uh, to make changes and to customize your site. So uh, I've written a tutorial today which uh, basically uh, explains how to do it and I've include, included some screenshots and also a video from WooThemes which shows you uh, a couple of different methods you can use to customize your theme. But, uh, the, the, the basic principle is to create uh, a child theme and I've also written a tutorial on that. It's very, very easy to create your own child theme. There's a link here, you can see, you can follow the link and, and it's very simple to create your own child theme. Now the reason you need to create a child theme is because whenever you update your theme, there may be a new update come up, when, when you click that button to update, that will override all the changes you made to your parent themes core files. So to avoid that problem, uh, that's the reason I suggest you create a child theme. You can put any customization changes into the child theme, and when you update your parent theme, you won't lose those changes. So that's pretty straightforward. Um, and in this tutorial, I'll just look at how I changed the color of the links here, the two RSS links. By default, these were orange, and most premium themes offer uh, design options where you can normally change a lot of the different colors of the links and the fonts, etc. But uh, there's no option within these design options uh, to do that, so it has to be done manually. And this is the best way to do it and the easiest way to do it. So once you've created a child theme and you've got that set up, uh, it's just a matter of copying, uh, copying the code over from your parent theme's style CSS file to your child theme and just changing the colour. So I'll show you how I did that. If, if you've never done this before, this is, this is the easiest way to do it. So uh, you need to log into cPanel and you need to locate your, uh, your parent theme. So once you're logged into cPanel, I'll just go back to home. Click on a uh, public HTML. Find the folder for the site you're working on. Click on WP Content, Themes, and here's the parent theme. It's called the Canvas theme by Wu Theme. And this is my child theme that I've created. So all my customization goes in the child theme, and that's loaded last after Canvas, the default theme. So, so all the customization shows up on the theme. So what we need to do firstly is go into the parent theme and we're just going to locate the uh, the style sheet. So this has got all the coding, CSS coding. Now here it is here, style CSS. So we don't want to edit this the parent theme's core files. We just, just, just want to download this to our desktop so we can take a little bit of code from it. So all we do is we click on that and we'll, uh, we'll download that to the desktop, which I've already done. And here it is here. It's here. So I also need the style sheet from the child theme, because I'm going to add the parent theme's code. So I'll just go into the child theme. And here's the style sheet that I've got, that I've created for the, uh, for the child theme. So I'll highlight this and download this as well. So I've got both those two files on the desktop. Now once they're on the desktop, you'll need a text editor. You can actually do these, these changes within cPanel. There's a built-in text editor, or you can download them to your desktop and do them, which is probably a better way, because if you make any uh, mistakes, you, 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 can, uh, you can keep a copy of the, uh, the original parent theme style CSS sheet, which is here. 
and you can simply upload that and that will restore your site. So uh, you'll need a text editor. I'm using Notepad++ which is a free text editor. So if you don't have one of them, just download it from the site for free. So I'll just click on this and edit with Notepad++. So I'll open this up. Now what I need to do is I need to locate the RSS links in the parent themes style sheet. So I'll go to the menu here and uh, the RSS links are located in the navigation. So navigation is 2.2. I'll just scroll down here and I'll find the code for the navigation. So I've gone a little bit too far. Okay. So here we go here. Here's 2.2 navigation and here's all the CSS code in the parent themes uh, files that's used for the RSS navigation links. So I've got code for the background, display code, holder code and colour. I want to change the colour of the link. So all I need to do is copy this code and put this into the child theme which is where all my customizations are. So I'll copy this, I can close that now, and I can open up the child themes CSS style sheet, and I'll just paste this code in. I'll paste it in there. Now the colours that orange colour would, and this is the hex code colour for the orange colour. So if you're wanting to change to another colour, you can just Google uh, a hex code colour chart and find the, the, the hex code for the colour that you like and you can insert it in here. So I know the colour I want is white and I know the code already so it's FFFFFF so that's, that's, that's the hex code colour for, for white and, uh, and I've placed this code into my child theme style CSS sheet so this, this white colour will overwrite the parent themes uh, orange colour and it will now become white. So now I just close this, save the changes and I go back into cPanel and I'll make sure I'm in the child theme and I simply upload uh, that, that style sheet which I've just edited I've just changed the colour so I've already done this but I'll, we'll just locate this in the desktop and I simply just upload the file and it's this small file here. So this will be uploaded and this will go into the uh, into the child theme and I refresh that and when I look at my site these uh, these links will be white. Originally they were orange. So that's that's the easy way to uh, customize the, the styling and the decoration and the appearance of your WordPress theme by creating a child theme and just using the existing code from your parent theme copying and pasting that into your child theme and just make editing, editing the code in your child theme that way you don't have to write new CSS code and you could also do that for a lot of other different uh, changes that you're wanting to make to the styling of your site um, if, if, if your theme doesn't offer design options for certain things that you want to change you can, this is the way to do it um, I could also uh, change these these icons here, these social media icons. I don't particularly like the, these four here. I, I've found some uh, some other social media icons which are uh, which are a lot better. So uh, and here they are. Here I downloaded these from the internet for free, and I think these are a bit nicer. So I'm going to change these as well. And. Uh, and to do that, basically, all I have to do is put these into the child theme as well. So uh, I'll, I'll have to make sure they're the same file name as the existing ones. And I'll put these into a child theme in an images folder. And these will show up on my site. So, uh, so that's, that's another little customization that I'm going to do to my site as well. So, so the... the the options you've got when, once you've created a child theme are, are, are endless really. You can, this is the way the pros, uh, the method they use to, uh, to make all the customization changes to their site and uh, using this method you don't have to learn any coding. 
So there you have it, that's a pretty simple tutorial on how to customize your WordPress theme using the child theme. I'll also be writing some tutorials and making some videos on how to use existing page templates um, to, to, to fully customize your site. You can, you can totally change the, the, the styling of, of uh, any of your pages or your posts um, on your WordPress site by simply uploading uh, uh, different, uh, different page templates. So uh, I'll show you how to do that in the next video. Cheers.